Christ's humble sacrifice as a shepherd king drove these evil, tyrannical, blood god rituals underground, the public would behead them or hang them or kill them. They wouldn't handle such blasphemy anymore. Christianity swept the world with a good message and a good example in a world of tyrannical, pagan, blood god kings and gods of human sacrifice with open ritual performed in the public square with blood and, uh, you know, the age of might and evil more so than the age of truth and mercy, you might say, all ended with Jesus Christ and his sacrifice. We drove it underground eventually. And then the further conquest of Christian Europe by Islam is an example of Rome's devious machinations. The fact that most people believe that we are on a globe today is another example. While the Jesuits were performing and perfecting fake news with the Radio Studiorum, we see that the cardinals like Woolsey were too busy monopolizing fake science, creating, quote, learning against learning, end quote, in order to convince the masses that God wasn't real, that the Reformation could not be relied on to interpret the scriptures accurately, and that things like heliocentrism, globe earth, evolution, climate change, and later vaccines, etc., were somehow scientific although they do not follow the scientific method, and they are immune to scrutiny, and they never debate them. During this rise of Christianity, you might say, the Western European nations, rising from the ashes of the lost tribes of Israel, inheriting those blessings, yet forgetting who they were, according to God's curse, mentioned by Paul. Beloved, I would not that ye be ignorant of this, but forgetfulness has come in part, upon Israel for her sins. I'm paraphrasing from memory here, but 